Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about transverse common tangent for the given two circles. In the last video, in LAQ's playlist, we discussed about the direct common tangents question. Now, transverse common tangent question. For the transverse common tangent, we need to calculate internal center of similitude. What is internal center of similitude? The point of intersection of transverse common tangent tangents is called internal center of similitude. What is the meaning of transverse common tangent? The circles which are touching either of the sides for the tangent, for the common tangent, that type of tangents are called transverse common tangent. So for that procedure is what? General procedure. First we need to do the given circles you are right and their centers and ready. First step given circles or given equation of circles also. x square plus y square minus 4x minus 10y plus 28 equal to 0. Equation number 1. Center of this circle immediately you can calculate. c1 is equal to minus x coefficient by 2 minus y coefficient by 2 so 2 comma 5 so radius of the circle also first circle radius r1 root over g square plus f square 4 plus 25 minus c so minus 28 29 minus 28 is 1 root 1 is 1 so r1 value 1 and second circle equation and equation of second circle x square plus y square plus 4x minus 6y plus 4 equal to 0. Equation number 2. In this equation, second circle center means c2 equal to minus x coefficient by 2 minus y coefficient by 2. So minus 4 by 2. So minus of minus 6 by 2. 3. Or 2. Radius of second circle. Root of minus 2 square 4 plus 3 square 9 minus of minus 4 sorry minus 4 only plus 4 minus 4 get cancelled root 9 equal to 3 therefore r2 equal to 3 c1 value we got it c2 value we got it r1 r2 values also we got it center of second circle denoted by c1 and whose coordinates are x1 x, x1 y1 and center of second circle is c2 whose coordinates are x2 y2 Later on, the figure we have to observe is students. This is the one circle, this is another circle. R1 is the radius of first circle, R3 is the radius of second circle. So, direct common tangents, no? So, the tangents will be like this. One. It touches both the circles, either of the sides. So, either like this or like this also we can draw. This is the way. The point of intersection of these two direct transverse common tangent, it is denoted by TCT, transverse common tangent, TCT. So, the point of intersection of transverse common tangent is called ICS, internal center of similitude. This is generally we denoted by X comma Y. So, this is the center of first circle, center of second circle. This point P is dividing in the ratio of R1 is to R2 internally. So, ICS equal to internal center of similitude. ICS internal center of similitude, that is P of X comma Y divides C1, C2 in the ratio of in the ratio R1 is to R2 internally. That is very important uh, step, dear students. Internally. So the coordinates of uh, ICS uh, P of X comma Y equal to R1 X2 plus R2 X1 by R1 plus R2. Wherever x1, y1 is there, x2, y2 is there, you can replace with this in terms of y. 
R1 by 2 plus R2 by 1 by R1 plus R2. So the values we have here substitute. R1 means 1. X2 value minus 2. Plus R2 value 3. X1 value 2. By R1 plus R2. 1 plus 3. Similarly Y coordinate. R1 value 1. Y2 value 3. R2 value 3. Into Y1 value is 5. By 1 plus 3. Which is equal to. 6 minus 2. So minus 2 plus 6 by 4. Here, 3 plus 15 by 4. So, 4 by 4. Here, 18 by 4. If we simplify 1 comma 2 nines to 2. So, 9 by 2. So, therefore, we got this point 1 comma 9 by 2. This point P of X comma Y, we got it as 1 comma 9 by 2. This is x1, y1, you can assume that yes, what is y does. In the next step, we are going to calculate the transverse common tangent. Till here, you will get 3 marks out of 7 marks. So now, let the slope of transverse common tangent, either this one or this one, I am assuming that m, slope of transverse common tangent is m, B, M and passing through and passing through which point? 1 comma 9 by 2. This only no passing through. 1 comma 9 by 2 is so slope is there, point is there. Slope point form. Y minus Y1 equal to M into X minus X1. So Y minus 9 by 2 equal to m into x minus 1. So take LCM here. 2y minus 9 divided by 2 is equal to m into x minus 1. Cross multiply. 2y minus 9 equal to 2m into x. 2mx minus 2m. So these values I am taking this side. So 2m into x. So 2y I am taking this side minus 2y. Minus 2m is already there. Minus 9 I am taking this side plus 9. This is completely equation number 3. So this equation 3. This is the direct com transverse common tangent we studied. Either this one or this one. Among these two radius, which radius is less? First circle radius. So equation 3 touches equation 1. Equation after finding equation of tangent. Equation 3 touches equation 1 then radius of first circle then radius of first circle that means r1 equal to perpendicular distance from first circle center 2 comma 5 2 comma 5 to <coughs> equation 3 so perpendicular distance formula we know that still some students uh, for the convenience of writing, d equal to mod ax1 plus by1 plus c by root over a square plus b square. That is the formula for perpendicular distance. So r1, what is the r1 value? r1 value is 1. Perpendicular distance from 2 comma 5 to this in place of x comma y, 2 comma 5 substitute. So 2m into 2. Minus 2 into in place of y5. Minus 2m plus 9. Whole divided by root over a square plus b square means x coefficient whole square. 2m whole square. Plus y coefficient whole square. Minus 2 whole square. So 1 is equal to mod 4m. Minus 10. Minus 2m plus 9. By root of 4m square plus 4 4m minus 2m is 2 2m minus 10 plus 9 is minus 1 by root of 4m square plus 4 so later on I will continue here
After completing of this step, dear students, uh, cross multiplication we are doing here. So root over 4m squared plus 4 is equal to mod 2m minus 1. Squaring on both sides. So 4m squared plus 4 is equal to a minus b whole square expansion. 2m minus 1 whole square. That is equal to 4m squared plus 1 minus 4m. Here you observe dear students. Both sides 4m square term is going to cancel. Whenever quadratic terms is going to cancel is absent in this equation. We have 4 equal to 1 minus 4m. That implies that 4m equal to 1 minus 4 that is equal to minus 3. 4m equal to minus 3. m is equal to minus 3 by 4. But according to the figure, we have two equations of transverse common tangent in the figure. I hope you understand. But we are getting only one slope. So whenever quadratic term will be absent in the equation, one of the slope is undefined. Since m square term absent in the equation, absent means it was cancelled, absent, then absent in the equation in the equation then one of the slopes one of the slopes is slopes of the tangents that means is undefined that is slope f is equal to 1 by 0 undefined means anything by 0 keep in mind dear students so, two cases we got it now. m is equal to minus 3 by 4. m is equal to 1 by 0. Now, case 1. m is equal to minus 3 by 4. Substitute in equation 3. 3 means here only now. So, wherever m is there, replace with minus 3 by 4. So, y here better to substitute here. 2y minus 9 by 2 is equal to in place of m minus 3 by 4 into x minus 1. So here 2 ones, 2 twos cancel, cross multiply now. So 2 times of 2y minus 9 is equal to minus 3x plus 3. So these values are taking this side. Minus 3x we can take this side plus 3x. 2 into 2y is plus 4y. 2 into minus 9 minus 18 plus 3 we are taking the side minus 3. So therefore 3x plus 4y minus 21 equal to 0. This is one of the direct common tangents dear students. Now come to the case 2. m equal to 1 by 0 substitute in equation 3 we get 2y minus 9 by 2 is equal to 1 by 0 into x minus 1. If we do the cross multiplication 0 into this value completely 0 it becomes. So 0 into 2y minus 9. So 2 into x minus 1. So 0 into anything is 0. Equal to 2 into x minus 1. Even this 2 also we are taking this side. So 0 by 2 is equal to x minus 1. 0 by 2 is 0 only. So, therefore, x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, the direct common tangents for the given circles are 3x plus 4y minus 21 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0. Still, any doubts are there, dear students? You can write to my comment box. I will help you in my free time. Thank you for your support.